All right, let's take this even further. If black holes are involved in creating dark energy, we're talking about a total rewrite of how we understand the universe. I mean, think about it. We've all been taught that black holes are these terrifying objects that just swallow everything light matter energy. But what if they're doing more than that? What if they're not just taking in, but also giving out in a way we've never thought possible? Let's get into the possibilities. One of the most intriguing ideas floating around right now is that black holes might not contain singularities at all. In classical physics, a singularity is this point of infinite density where all the laws of physics break down. It's the ultimate no man's land of the universe where space and time get twisted beyond recognition. But what if there's no singularity? What if? Instead of collapsing into a point, black holes are packed with what scientists call vacuum energy. This is the kind of energy that might be responsible for dark energy, the force accelerating the expansion of the universe. Here's why this is so important. If black holes are filled with vacuum energy, they wouldn't just be pulling things in. They could be pushing things out on a cosmic scale. This could explain why the universe is expanding faster and faster. Imagine black holes as engines, converting matter into vacuum energy and then releasing that energy in some form we don't yet understand. This would mean that black holes aren't just the endpoints of stars, they're active participants in the evolution of the universe itself. Let's pause for a second and think about what this means. We've always thought of the universe as a place where gravity rules. Gravity pulls things together, stars, planets, galaxies. But dark energy does the opposite. It pushes things apart. If black holes are creating dark energy, then they're playing both sides. On the one hand, they're pulling in matter with their immense gravitational pull. But on the other hand, they're contributing to the force that's driving the universe apart. It's like they're the universe's ultimate paradox creators and destroyers at the same time. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. Now, let's talk about the big problem with this idea we don't know how any of this could happen. There's no known mechanism that explains how black holes could convert matter into dark energy. Scientists are throwing around some wild theories, but none of them have been proven. One idea involves something called the Penrose process, which suggests that black holes can convert part of their rotational energy into mass. But that doesn't fully explain how this would lead to the creation of dark energy. We're in uncharted territory here. And that's what makes this so exciting. We're looking at a phenomenon that could completely change our understanding of the universe, but we don't have all the answers yet. It's like we're standing at the edge of a cliff, looking out at a landscape we've never seen before. And every new piece of data we get is like taking a step forward but we still don't know what's at the bottom of the cliff. Here's another mind-bending possibility. If black holes are creating dark energy, could they also be responsible for something called the Hubble tension? The Hubble tension is this big mystery in cosmology right now. It's the idea that when we measure how fast the universe is expanding in different ways, we get different answers. According to one set of measurements, the universe is expanding at one speed, but according to another set of measurements, it's expanding faster. This discrepancy is called the Hubble tension, and nobody knows why it exists. But if black holes are involved in creating dark energy, they could be part of the solution to this problem. Maybe the way black holes produce dark energy changes over time, or maybe different types of black holes produce different amounts of dark energy. This could explain why our measurements of the universe's expansion don't quite match up. 
It's like trying to measure the flow of water in a river, but the river keeps changing speed depending on where you're standing. Now, here's where things get even crazier. If black holes are creating dark energy, that could also solve another big mystery, the missing baryon problem. Like we talked about earlier, baryons are the particles that make up atoms, and according to our models, there should be a lot more of them in the universe than we've been able to find. But if black holes are converting matter into dark energy, that missing baryonic matter might not be missing at all. It might have been transformed into dark energy over time. Think about what that means. For years, scientists have been trying to figure out where all this missing matter went. Some thought it was hiding in the vast spaces between galaxies, but if black holes are converting it into dark energy, that changes everything. It means that black holes aren't just cosmic garbage disposals, they're cosmic recyclers turning matter into something that shapes the entire universe. But here's the question that still haunts me. How does this process work? What happens inside a black hole that could lead to the creation of dark energy? We know that when matter crosses the event horizon, the point of no return around a black hole, it gets crushed by gravity. But what happens next? Does that matter get converted into dark energy instantly, or is it a slower process? And how does that energy escape the black hole to affect the rest of the universe? We're at a point where we have more questions than answers, and that's both frustrating and exhilarating. It's frustrating because we want to know how this works, but it's exhilarating because we're on the brink of discovering something new. And that's how science works. It's a constant push and pull between what we know and what we don't know. Every time we think we've figured something out, the universe throws us a curveball. And right now, black holes and dark energy are the biggest curveballs of all. Now, let's think about the future. What's next? Well, the DZ instrument is still collecting data and we're going to learn a lot more about the universe in the coming years. Scientists are also working on new ways to observe black holes and study their effects on the universe. We're talking about new telescopes, new experiments, and new theories that could finally crack this mystery wide open. But here's the thing we might not have all the answers for a long time. The universe doesn't give up its secrets easily. It's taken us centuries just to get to this point, and there's still so much we don't understand. But that's what makes this so exciting. We're standing on the edge of a new frontier in science, and we have no idea what we're going to find next. So here's a thought to leave you with what if black holes aren't just the end points of stars? What if they're not just cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking everything in and giving nothing back? What if they're the engines of the universe, driving its expansion and creating the very force that pushes galaxies apart? Could we be looking at something so fundamental to the universe that it changes everything we thought we knew? All right, let's take this all the way. If black holes really are the engines of the universe, responsible for creating dark energy and driving cosmic expansion, we're talking about a paradigm shift in our understanding of reality itself. This isn't just about black holes anymore. It's about the fundamental forces that shape everything around us. The fabric of space, time, and matter might be directly influenced by these mysterious objects in ways we never imagined. Let's think about what this means, not just for science, but for our understanding of existence. If black holes are creators, not just destroyers, then they're playing a role in the ongoing evolution of the universe. They're not just the graveyards of stars, they're more like cosmic factories, transforming matter into something else entirely, something that shapes the universe on a massive scale. It's almost as if they're part of a grand cosmic cycle, 
where nothing ever really disappears but is instead transformed into a different form of energy, contributing to the expansion of space itself. This brings us to another mind-bending idea the possibility that black holes could hold the key to understanding the ultimate fate of the universe. Right now we know that the universe is expanding, and that expansion is speeding up. Dark energy is pushing galaxies apart, and if this continues unchecked, we're headed toward a scenario known as the Big Freeze in this scenario. The universe keeps expanding until all the galaxies, stars, and planets drift so far apart that everything becomes cold, dark, and lifeless. It's a pretty bleak picture. But what if black holes are more than just passive players in this process? What if they're actively controlling the rate at which the universe expands? If black holes are indeed creating dark energy, then understanding how they do this could give us insight into whether the universe's expansion will continue accelerating forever or if something might eventually change. Could black holes somehow regulate this expansion? Could they hold the key to reversing it or slowing it down? Right now we don't know, but the possibility is there. Now, let's talk about the practical side of this. What can we actually do with this knowledge? Well, for one thing, it changes how we approach the study of the universe. If black holes are tied to dark energy, then observing them becomes even more critical. It's no longer just about understanding what happens when a star dies or how gravity warps space-time. It's about understanding the very structure of the universe. Every black hole we study could be providing us with clues about how dark energy works and, by extension, how the universe itself functions at its most fundamental level. And this isn't just theoretical. We're already building the tools we need to answer these questions. The James Webb Space Telescope, for example, is providing us with unprecedented views of the universe allowing us to see deeper into space and further back in time than ever before. And as we gather more data from instruments like DESI, we'll be able to refine our models and test these ideas in ways we couldn't before. It's like we're assembling a puzzle piece by piece, and every new observation brings us closer to seeing the full picture. But here's the thing, even if we do prove that black holes are creating dark energy, that's just the beginning. We still need to understand how they're doing it. Right now, we don't have a clear mechanism for how matter gets converted into dark energy inside a black hole. We don't know what happens at the event horizon that causes this transformation. Is it something to do with quantum mechanics? Is there a new form of physics at play? These are the big questions that we need to answer next. And that brings us to the role of theory in all of this. Observations are crucial, but we also need new theories, bold, imaginative ideas that push the boundaries of what we think is possible. Some scientists have suggested that black holes might be connected to higher dimensions or that they could be gateways to other universes. Others think that black holes might be linked to the mysterious quantum processes that govern the smallest particles in the universe. These ideas might sound like science fiction, but remember, every major breakthrough in science started with someone asking a question that seemed impossible at the time. Let's get real for a second. What we're talking about here is nothing less than a complete overhaul of our understanding of the cosmos. For centuries, we've thought of the universe as running on a set of fixed, unchanging laws, gravity, relativity, quantum mechanics. But if black holes are involved in creating dark energy, and if dark energy is responsible for the expansion of the universe, then we're looking at a universe that's far more dynamic and interconnected than we ever thought. It's not just about objects moving through space, it's about space itself being shaped and influenced by the objects within it. So where do we go from here? 
What's the next step? Well, we need to keep pushing the boundaries of what we know. We need more data, more observations, and more bold ideas. But we also need to be prepared for the possibility that the answers we find might be stranger than anything we've ever imagined. After all, that's the nature of science. It's a journey into the unknown. And sometimes the unknown is weirder than we could have ever predicted. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. As exciting as this all is, we need to remember that we're still in the early stages of understanding this phenomenon. We've got some intriguing clues, but we don't have the full picture yet. It's going to take time, maybe decades, to fully unravel the mystery of how black holes are connected to dark energy. And even then, we might find that the answer leads to even more questions. Here's a thought if black holes are creating dark energy. What does that mean for the future of the universe? Will the expansion keep accelerating until everything is torn apart? Or could black holes somehow act as a balancing force, slowing the expansion down at some point? And if we do figure out how black holes create dark energy, could we ever harness that process ourselves? Could we find a way to tap into the same forces that are driving the expansion of the universe? These are the kinds of questions that keep me up at night. We're standing on the edge of something huge, and we don't even fully understand what it is yet. But that's what makes this so exciting. We're at the frontier of science, and the possibilities are endless. So let's wrap this up with one final thought black holes might be the most misunderstood objects in the universe. For so long, we've thought of them as destroyers, as the end points of stars, as the ultimate cosmic death machines. But what if they're not? What if they're creators? What if they're the engines driving the expansion of the universe, the creators of dark energy? We don't have all the answers yet, but one thing is clear black holes are far stranger, far more powerful, and far more important than we ever imagined. And that's what makes them so fascinating.